All right, let's start by opening our Rhino 8 software to act this small object millimeters. So now again, let's create our ring with our circle tool by just clicking on circle tool. And then uh, let's turn on the grid snap so you can snap, you know, the uh, center point of your ring to the center axis. I'll just type zero on your keyboard and type enter. And now we are have to make our uh, diameters of our ring, the size of our ring, let's say like 19 millimeters. Let's just hit enter. Now uh, we have made our ring size. Uh, let's uh, make uh, the outer ring with a new function that I'm going to teach you guys in my previous video. We made the outer ring using like uh, the uh, extrude curve function. This time we are going to make uh, our uh, band ring with uh, the sweep rail function. So let's switch to our right view mode. And uh, let's say we want to make a band ring size of six millimeter. We know that one square is equal to one millimeter. So uh, six square will be six millimeters. So let's take our line tool and uh, just draw like a uh, six millimeter line. Just click and then click on the uh, right mouse button to complete the, your line. So let's say uh, we want to move this line over here uh, to this point, to our circle. Uh, we can do that with our move tool right here, which uh, you just click on it. And uh, you see that it will uh, perfectly um, snap into the middle because we have our mid uh, all snap on. Uh, just click on it. And uh, let's uh, turn off the grid snap so we can freely move our line and just snap it to the circle. And again, it snap automatically because we have our intersection uh, all snap on. Just click and let's say we want to make a band ring with the size of uh, 1.8 millimeter. For example, take our line again, connect um, to the end point and just like type 1.8 on your keyboard like that, hit enter. And uh, uh, let's make our line parallel to our top line by holding shift. And uh, if we want to uh, perfectly like place uh, to the other point, uh, we can do that by uh, turning on our smart track uh, snap on and go to the end point here and just like hold shift drive down and just like that it automatically like uh, make it uh, parallel to the other point and just complete and then uh, click on the right mouse button to release it all right so as you can see guys we made like two lines two separated lines and we need to connect them to use our sweep rail function. So we just select the two lines together and click on this icon over here uh, to join them together or just type join on your keyboard. I prefer to show you the icon so it is uh, easier to remember those functions. All right, now we can uh, begin to make our band ring using uh, the uh, sweep rail function by just typing on your keyboard sweep one or just uh, by going to the toolbar surface, sweep one rail, like that. Then it's going to say like select a rail. This is our rail, our ring. And uh, it's going to say select sweep shape. This is the shape to sweep. Then just press, press enter on your keyboard. It's uh, going to create a point right here. This is not important right now unless you have like more cross section curves. So then you can press enter again. Uh, it's going to give you option. You can mess with a little bit, but uh, now I'm not going to mess uh, with those function. Just press OK. And here is our ring. And uh, if you cannot see it like that, it's because you have to change, you know, uh, to the shaded mode. And uh, in the next video, I will share with you how we can customize the shape of our ring. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.